working for him many years. He has a very good business. Smart man. No suspect all the way around, yeah? You get down now! Evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Taddy needs a drink! How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. Oh, no idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done.
wonderful. Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, it could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. I'll show you how. to meddle, even if we've the best of intentions. Those indications should suit party at twelve, sir. But if you... Carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. For the Never sturdiest missed, and most seamless battles in America, call upon John Cooper. For seven generations, Cooper's the name you can trust. Scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such crossing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast. No doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Gentlemen dilettantes, amateurs, and the curious public, Toby Locke will demonstrate tomorrow by the Belfry his latest flying contraption. You there! 
Take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin.
But they all plead ignorance. Bugger that! They're lying! Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it! Crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. on Mill Road, a name and reputation you can ride with. Easy for you to say. 
You didn't just watch your friend die. Recall what happened as best you can. There were three, no, four of them. All of clearly ill repute. They carried a fifth. He was bruised and unconscious. Thomas the fool tried to offer aid. So they cut his throat. And then they moved on. As if it were nothing. As if it were normal. Which way did they go? I... I, I don't know. I was focused on trying to stop the bleeding. Come on now, try and remember. That way, I think... You'll pay for it. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses.
away from here. Careful. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Where? Find the key. Wait here. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gauche. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I'll take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas. I rather think I was. But you took advantage of no. my generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas. Do you hear me? I'll have your head. No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> huh. Quick little swipe and no more ears. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be... Spare more of your name, crap. 
Your parents must be so very proud to have raised a specimen like yourself. Quiet now. I need to concentrate on me work. Hold still a minute. I gotta decide where to start. You're a rough. Who? Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I, I, I don't understand. Why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the king's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. treacherous. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. <laughs> By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal. And you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they've said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along.
What are you planning? To steal Master Ken. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. on Marlborough. No. Its residents are too content. What of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. The best products come directly from the Rhineland, now at your fingertips. Him, Edward. Ah, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying... I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. Brother Mike, the clerk. I hope I can understand. The man's a lunatic. Ah, 
lot of fun to watch them. Gentlemen, I believe I found a solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. Oh, do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas Fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then... Let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. Pardon, sir. Seems we've had ourselves an unhappy little accident. Get it sorted quickly. Of course, my lord. All on your life.
us. Goon Williams serves Vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? Rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we have enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of them. As you wish. I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Say the word, and I'll cut them down. One moment, then. Eh? Engage the enemy. Who's your officer? Come on, Ned. Looks like you're to meet the reaper. All clear. Good evening, gentlemen. 
state your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on, then. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain... Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. You know when you're ready to strike. Lieutenant Wilkins? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Man named uh, Cosgrove. Lieutenant Cosgrove. I've not heard of him. Cosgrove? Is he the chap with the gammy leg? That's the one. Who have we got then? What are you talking about? Stop slouching. Prison. I said stop slouching. A good friend of Mr. Fletcher's. Take care with your time in the future. The fellows we talk. They do not exist.
quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess. Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? One I intend to keep. now we wait but not for very long i suspect Yeah, you got me feeling numb. 